Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and Sony's Gaika-powered streaming game service, PlayStation Now, will be available to all PS4 gamers in North America beginning tomorrow. It should be noted, however, that this isn't considered a final release, it's open beta, so expect the service to change a bit more before Sony deems it ready for prime time. The service, which was outlined at CES in January, has been in private beta since early this year, with PS4 being added to the beta program in May. It allows gamers to stream a selection of PlayStation titles, mostly PlayStation 3, but Sony has expressed interest in making legacy titles from PlayStation and PlayStation 2 available as well. Titles in the service are available as rentals and you pay different rates depending on how long you intend to keep a title, though PlayStation Now Senior Director Jack Buser is also working on a flat subscription rate. He says, We're working diligently to bring a subscription option to gamers to complement our rental offering for PlayStation Now. We believe that offering both of these options would provide gamers the freedom to discover and play games in ways that weren't before possible. However, that's not a done deal yet, and Sony isn't a fan of EA's just announced subscription plan, EA Access, which you can learn more about by clicking here. A PlayStation spokesperson says, We evaluated the EA Access subscription offering and decided that it does not bring the kind of value PlayStation customers have come to expect. Then again, if Sony is planning their own subscription program, they wouldn't have much reason to support EAs. For now, PlayStation Now gamers will continue to rent titles individually, with prices that will begin at $2.99 for as little as 4 hours and up to $30 for a 90-day rental. Since this is still a beta, Booster says prices will fluctuate, with short-term rental prices for some games dropping to $1.99. The open beta will launch with 100 titles available to stream, with more games to be added later. What do you think of PlayStation Now? Good solution for backwards compatibility or crazy pricing to play old games? Let us know what you think in the comments. To make sure you're on top of all the biggest news in video games and entertainment, click like and subscribe and we'll keep you in the know.